Hello there, welcome to this video and today we are um, having a look at how to make an Arduino reaction timer. This is the 17th episode of the Ultimate Beginner's Guide to Arduino, um, second of the latest ones I've been making. Now let's get started. The point of today's video is to show you a few basic programming concepts that we haven't quite covered yet that I thought I should have covered, such as uh, ones like do while, um, having random delays, stuff like that and using floats, that's also um, what I wanted to show you in today's video. Also, I wanted to demonstrate the, fa um, the fact that you don't actually have to use Arduino, anything Arduino at all, to do an Arduino-based project, if you get what I mean. I mean, Arduino started off making microprocessors. Um, you know, I've got an official Arduino, and I'm sure most people have. But you can get unofficial Arduino products a lot cheaper. So, for example, instead of using my Arduino Uno today, I'm using this clone or, yeah, clone of the Arduino Mega called the Sane Smart Mega. Now, it is pretty much exactly the same. Um, although, actually, I've had a few problems with this board, but that's besides the point. You can get clones of Arduino boards a lot cheaper and it's perfectly legal. Um, and also, I'm not actually using the Arduino IDE today. I'm using something called Codebender. Uh, it's just a website that you can run Arduino sketches off and write code, share code. So if you go to my Codebender account, then you'll be able to see the code for this project. Okay, now let's get started. The idea of this project is when you press down this button... Well, no. The idea is it'll generate a random delay of about, well, between 1 and 20 seconds. After between 1 and 20 seconds, the LED and the uh, buzzer will sound briefly. And you will press the button as quickly as you can, and it'll give you a score on the screen of how well you did, how fast you could press that button. So to start off with, let's just have a look at the wiring. OK then, um, I'm going to get a sheet of paper so I can actually just write down the pins that they're on for you but um, for the button let's go from right to left for the button here um, I have put a 220M resistor going to ground um, and then a pin on that same on that same pin it goes to digital pin 2 the other side it just goes to 5 volts then here on the buzzer we've got um, this side going to ground and this one going to, it's a black one here, going to pin 3 on the board. Then finally we have got the LED on the anode, the longer leg, going to 5 volts. Um, well, not quite 5 volts, but I'm using a resistor, 220 m resistor, going to digital pin 4. And another wire going from the cathode to ground. Now, I'll just write them down for you so that so there's no confusion. Um, very quickly, button pin is 2, uh, the LED is 4, and the buzzer is 3. They are meant to be arrows, but I've done a very bad job of drawing them. But yeah, they're the pins that we're on. When you've done the wiring, shouldn't take you too long because it's not too complicated. We're going to have a look at the code. The code actually isn't that complicated for today. Um, but it, this this episode it just, gen just uh, demonstrates a few things that I wanted to show you. Using unofficial Arduino things as well as official Arduino things if you want to. And things like do while, um, floats. We've covered floats but we haven't actually used them I don't think. Okay, let's go on and have a look at the code. Okay then, let's get right into the code. Um, this isn't. I've done. I've pretty much done the code now. I've put unfinished there, but it's not quite unfinished. I'm also going to give you a tour of how um, this file, this how it all works, this uh, code bender stuff. Okay. Um, you've got to download it first. Here we've got code bender app. Um, just download it. 
I've done a review of it, it's very good. But if you press launch app, it'll just say, do it through there. Uh, okay, you've just got, basically, you can log in. I've logged in as unofficial Arduino tutorials. Uh, save it, verify, verify it, run it. I'll just talk you through it. These are constants for the uh, button LED buzzer. Uh, I've made a float for the reaction time. It's going to record how many seconds. An um, integer variable for the button stick. We don't actually need that. And um, time delay and time number. They'll come later. We're setting the button pin as an input because it's going to read whether we're pressing it or not. The LED pin and the buzzer pin is an output because um, the LED we're going to be sending out voltage, buzzer we're going to be sending out voltage. Uh, and then we're going to initialize a serial monitor. Okay, moving on. First of all, we are saying that the variable time number is going to be equal to a random number generated, assigned to a random number generated between 1 and 20. Then it's going to times this number by a thousand. Because when you use the delay, it does it in milliseconds, not seconds. So we've got to times it by a thousand to get it in milliseconds. And then it's going to delay the program by that amount of time. Then we turn on the LED after this amount of time, trigger the buzzer. Then it's going to measure um, how quick you can press it or not press it. So then, um, after you've triggered the buzzer and LED, um, we don't actually need this, I don't think. Sorry about that. Okay, so um, now we've got a do while. So it's going to do this while that condition is met. So it is going to delay by a millisecond and then reaction plus plus is basically saying reaction equals reaction plus one. It's just going to plus one after each loop. So it's going to delay by a millisecond and increase it by a millisecond. And it's going to do that while a uh, digital read button pin is low. So whilst it's not pressed, it's going to carry on counting. Then when it's high, it's going to stop doing that. It is going to divide it by a thousand so we get it in seconds, not milliseconds, because it's increasing the number each millisecond. It's going to print it in the serial monitor and set the LED pin as low. That's just the code. Upload it and now let's see what exactly is going to happen. Okay then. Connect your Arduino. Upload. Then it'll give you a score. So wait for it to pop up. It will take any time between 1 and 20 seconds. There we go. And it gives you a score. I've got 0.62. It's just basically the seconds. I'm getting ready. Come on. There we go. 0.27. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you next time.